This video will show you how to rework and lubricate the O-ring in the Hobo Pendant Data Logger. Here we have a Hobo Pendant Temp Light Logger. The procedure will also work with the Hobo Pendant Temp Logger, the Hobo Pendant G Logger, as well as the Hobo Pendant Event Logger. The event logger, just be aware that the end cap has a cable going into it, but it uses the same O-ring. To get started, you will need a few tools. You will need a small Phillips screwdriver. You will also need some silicone-based O-ring lubricant. Here we're using Parker Super O-Lube. Again, it has to be silicone-based, not petroleum-based or any other type. We also recommend that you read and become familiar with the instruction sheet that was generated by Onset that guides you through this reworking and lubricating procedure. It's called Instructions for Reworking and Lubricating the O-Ring in a Hobo Pendant Logger. Be sure that your workspace is clean, free of debris or dust. Any contamination that might get on that O-Ring could compromise its ability to seal against water intrusion. You also want to make sure, because there's sensitive electronics inside of this logger, to discharge any static buildup on your skin by touching an unpainted metal surface before you get started. So the first thing we're going to do, you want to use your Phillips screwdriver and you want to remove the two stainless steel screws that hold the end cap in place. Once those are removed, you can actually use your screwdriver, put it through the bale in the top of the end cap and pull and it will pop right out of place. We've already done that on another logger here. So here's our end cap and it's got a desiccant pack inside, you can see. If the desiccant, there's a little stripe that indicates if the color of the desiccant. If the desiccant is pink in color, it should be either replaced or reworked per the procedure written in the instructions. We're going to remove this just now to take off our o-ring. So here's the o-ring. It sits in a little groove in the top of the end cap. To remove it, grab the end cap with your thumb and forefinger, grab a hold of the o-ring and slide it forward, then grab it with the other two fingers. You can see a little loop appear and it comes right off. Carefully inspect that o-ring for any cracks, or deformities, if there are any, remove, uh, replace the O-ring. To re-lubricate this, you want to use a very small amount of, again, it's silicone-based O-ring lube, just a very, very small dollop on your finger. Do not use any kind of cloth or paper um, napkins or anything like that, because that could cause contamination. Make sure you work it carefully into all sides of the o-ring all the way around its radius and then you can put it back onto the end cap put in your either reconditioned or new desiccant pack into the, just put it right into the cap there the other thing you want to do is before you reassemble you want to put a little bit of o-ring lube around the inside of the pendant case again a very small amount on the end of your finger you don't want to put too much and just go around the inside making sure to get it around the screw holes and then you want to cover the new end cap or the, uh, the newly lubricated end cap should slide right into place just like that and you just want to go around make sure that it indeed is still in the groove right there there shouldn't be any uh, gaps or anything you can feel there's a little air pressure there that's going to want to push it out that's, that's no problem and then you put your screws back in and tighten them down very carefully so that you don't over tighten them and disfigure or, or distort the end cap in any way. And here's, this is how they, this is how it should look when you're all finished. The screw should be seated but not overly tightened. For more information, go to our website at onsetcomp.com.